Hey, what's up, YouTube? I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, it's early in the morning. I um, so I'm a mess, but I'm about to go to an auction, um, a home auction. So I took out. About seven thousand dollars, six thousand seven hundred, six thousand seven hundred dollars for me to go to this auction. Um, why are you going to an auction? You might be asking. Why are you not going to an auction? Why are you choosing to follow the path that they laid out in front of us and take out a mortgage with interest for a piece of property that they will eventually take if you don't continue making payments on the taxes? Why pay three times the value of what they say the market is, the home is worth? Do you know that if you ask 50 realtors, 50 appraisers, uh, 50 investors, 50 homeowners questions about their property, that all of them are going to have a different answer? Every single website will have a different answer. There's an appraised value, but that was used for whatever, whoever's purposes whether it be taxes or whether it be to try to get somebody out of a property to get something appraised. <laughs> so why not get a house for $6,700? Why not get a $100,000 house for $8,000 off of an auction? That's all the banks are doing. Take foreclose, put it back out. It's ridiculous. If you take out a hundred thousand dollar loan for a home, you're gonna end up paying three hundred thousand dollars back. Why the fuck? Why are we paying extra two hundred thousand dollars? It's ridiculous. You're paying three times as much for a mortgage for a home that doesn't even have a real value. I mean, even gold, a gold, an ounce of gold. You have it there, and there's a range of its value. If you think about it, in that home that you're paying a note on, if the market goes low, even if you've invested $200,000 and you're almost done paying it off, if the market drops and the, and the housing market drops in correlation with the dollar value, and all of this stupid shit that these idiots are doing, the dollar is going to crumble. Again, we're waiting on the next collapse. So, um, why would you pay that kind of money? Because you could have invested $200,000 in that home and then the market drops and the house is only then worth $40,000. You paid $160,000 for something that didn't even... It wasn't real. There's no reason to do that. Um, it's a gamble, but it's a heavier gamble for comfort. Why not just get a property off of auction? The person may have, um, or another opportunity to be probate. Just owner finance through a probate. Say, hey, you know, I'm looking for a home and. You know, I'm on a finance through probate. I'm just, you know, the person probate is when someone passes away and then the pro deed needs to be transferred to the next of kin and, or whoever um, it was in the w will to. Don't use wills. You can just put your property in a living trust and then make a bit and then like assign beneficiaries. And you don't have to worry about, you know, going to court, probate court, you know. You really don't even need realtors. You know, realtors are just jobs. And you're just paying people a percentage of the payment to help. You sign your name on the other deed. Title company can run the title for 100 bucks, And then I guess you'd, you'd have a realtor to help you negotiate the price or to speak to the buyers and sellers. But you just, that's because you're too busy. That's because you're too busy to um, to talk to a buyer because they're working you like a damn slave.
So yeah, you gotta have somebody else talk to other people because you're too busy to talk to people. And that's what you're paying. So if you're selling a house for, you know, whatever, 100,000, you know, you pay your 6%, you're paying somebody $6,000 to talk on the phone to you three or four times. And to talk to other people. That's ridiculous. You can do it. But they don't educate you on that. So it's time. It's definitely time. Um, it's definitely time. Um, I, I'm 33 years old. And I'm still living in an apartment. I'm a single man and I'm a teacher. Yet I can't afford to get into a home. Why? Because I've been paying rent. My first apartment was maybe $1,300 a month. I didn't realize I was just throwing money away. And this is because of my economic situation. Now, if you are watching this and you are well off, meaning if you're watching this and you are just money is not an issue and I'm not talking to you even though I would still recommend to you don't go out and don't follow the system that they're saying don't go out and get a go get a mortgage take that cash and take your butt up there to an auction every first Tuesday in Texas in Harris County where I'm at go on up there see what you can see what you can afford see what you like um, you go on the county website, they'll show you. Just go on there and see what they have. That's it for something you're interested in. And then they have them, you know. Most of these places have them. Just see what's what. So, um, I was talking to one of my homegirls this morning, and she just got me, she always gets me just riled up. Um, because she's, um, it's like a, whenever you take the red pill and you start um, finding out all these truths, you, it's just like one of my friends says, to take the red pill is to be angry all the time because you start looking around and for those of you who've ever been high, drunk or whatever, You'll know what I'm talking about. When you're sober, the world is one way. And then after a few shots, uh, the world is a totally different place. Everything looks different. Everything feels different. You notice different shit. That girl that was ugly as fuck earlier is just starting to look kind of hot. You know, your reality changes. And then you start living in that reality until it changes back. But when you take the red pill, the red pill, just imagine there's a parasite inside of you. And this parasite just goes in. It's, it's always, so you're always scratching here, scratching there. What is it? What is it? There's always something going on. And then this parasite gets into your brain and then you have headaches sometimes. You know, it's like, oh, this thing is just killing me. What am I? I can't. I, it's just, I'm so uncomfortable. Everything, you know what? And you take that red pill, and then it just kills the parasite. So then you just, like, expel the parasite. And then now the world that you're used to always feeling something crawling, you've, it just, it's, it was always there. It was always just crawling around your body, and you were always just itching and scratching and tr trying to stop it. It's gone. So now, you're not focused on that anymore. You don't have to, because whenever that parasite was crawling around you, you would, every time you try to pay attention to something, you come back over here. So you really didn't pay attention to it. You come back. So it's like you're constantly being pulled back so you can't see anything. But once you take that red pill and that parasite is gone, you don't have you don't have that distraction. So then you look around. And the longer you look, the more it comes into focus. And you're like, wow. I never noticed that a huge hole in the wall. 
How did that happen? So then you go down to leasing office, you pull up the old documentation, you start reading up on everything. You're like, oh, Hitler was in this apartment. Oh, what the fuck? I'm talking about NASA and Nazis, just as an example of one of those truths that you'll find out. But as long as you got that parasite, that hole in the wall and Hitler and Nazis means nothing to you because you're still, it's, ugh, uh, it's just, it's crawling all around the world. Ugh. That's not important. That's not important anymore because you still have a parasite in you that you're trying to get rid of. And that's America. And that's their ideology and their rules and what the expectation is. Um, every country has their own. I'm tired of the devil I know. I'm going to have to be with a devil I know. And um, the whole foundation of this starts in education. They teach you from an early age. They teach you from an early age um, to be subservient. I said this before. We make them wear their ID badges to claim safety. You know every fucking kid at this camp. The year is almost over. If you did see a kid and you didn't know him, how many kids have you seen and you didn't know him just to the teachers? How many kids have you actually seen that you didn't know that you actually asked them for an ID bag? It's so many new. You're going about your way. Fucking kid could be from another school. I don't get it. There are pros and cons to it, but yeah, but all in all, um, it's pretty sad. All in all, it's pretty sad. Um, just wanted to share that with you. I want a little, it was kind of a random brain dump. I just want to, um, I just wanted to see what was what and share with you all and hopefully by video 100, 1000, hopefully I've had an opportunity to wake up some people and, you know, hopefully my situation's changed so while you're following along, you get an opportunity to watch me grow. Uh, it's not something that I'm doing as a trade. I can. I guess I can eventually. I guess I can if I just start doing them. Uh, make sure I get a video out every day and get it together. But um, that's pretty much the gist of it. I hope y'all have a great day. Don't fucking get a mortgage. I can't even. You'd be tied to that mortgage for life if you do. Plan on putting somebody in it for more. If you notice, if you notice isn't that crucial, you can put somebody in it for more. Yeah, you know, lease it out. But anyway, all right. Take care.